Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a... Excuse me. Excuse me, Colin Scripter. What is going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Pixel News. The NES Mini was hacked a few days ago, allowing users to back up their ROMs, their NES ROMs, their NES games, or whatever you like to call them, and use a tool called HackChi to transfer them over to the NES Mini. This is kind of a follow-up to a video I made earlier before we even knew what the NES Mini looked like 360 degrees, if it was moddable or not. I was pondering the idea of whether you could mod the system or not to put your own games on there. I had no idea that there was a USB on the back that actually provides power, but it also provides data to the system. One of the things that comes to my mind uh, initially when seeing this is, well, could you mod it? Could you use the built-in emulator? Is it is it coded in at a solid 30 games and, and nothing can be added? Uh, serious devoted modders down the line will hardware modify this to add in like a USB slot or a SD card slot and try to load up the emulator and load their own ROMs. So normally the NES Mini has 30 locked games within it. Now if you plug your NES Mini into the computer, you get some drivers for it, you pinch the reset button and hold the power button, you're able to actually push data to the NES Mini. Now there's a tool called HackChi, sounds a lot like HackChi for the Wii U, but it, they're completely unrelated, that allows you to drag your games, your, your NES backups, into the tool, set all the information up for it, how many players it is, the artwork for, all kinds of different settings. You have full control over the settings of the game. And then you're able to get a long laundry list of games going and then whoop, transfer them all over the NES Mini, say goodbye to that 30 game limit because now just about anybody can go and put whatever games they want on there. So game backups and ROM transfers are a breeze. Now to be able to get your own games, of course you should be backing up your own games, but of course people don't do that. They go and they download them from different ROM sites. So, I mean, I, I can't tell them not to do it because I'm pretty sure everybody's done it at one point in their life, wink, wink. You know, and you know, when I made that video talking about the NES Mini being moddable before I even knew what it looked like all around, there was people in the video saying, Saying, oh, I don't know why you'd want to mod it. There's no way it's going to be modded. It's pointless to mod it. Da, 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 da. Let's see those people again. moral of the story, anything is possible, so don't be a little doubter, a little Debbie doubter, because guess what, the NES Mini was hacked, alright? You know, people are able to load DS games off their 3DS without a flash cart or the actual cartridge. These kind of things are very possible given the time and the energy put into them, so don't be a doubter. But what do you guys think about these developments? Are you one of those people who wants to expand your NES Mini library? Are you excited that the NES Mini has more use to it? Let me know all that and more in the comments section below. I'd love to read what you guys gotta say. Anyways guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, crew. Thank you.